Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. And um, we've got a door ahead of us here. And um, we can't get through it at the moment, but if we come over here, there's a fountain and there are emblem holes either side of the fountain with an eagle and I think it's a lion. And we've got we've got medallions in the chest that are of those type, eagle and lion. So we're gonna go back to the chest and we're gonna hopefully get those medallions, bring them back. Fit them in the slots, and maybe that will un unlock the door. Okay, so it turns out I was wrong. It's not a um, eagle and a lion. It's an eagle and wolf. <laughs> so if we check out this one, we can see it's the shape of a wolf emblem. I'll just bring back to the chest, and we got the two emblems, the two medallions, uh, medals even. So we're gonna put the wolf one inside. Go on the other side. It should be the eagle one. Here we go. So the water is draining in the fountain. Oh my god. It goes deeper. Um, I'm going to switch the knife out for the, um, the stun guns just because I feel like the knife can be used more on different enemies. Like The stun gun only seems to work against zombies. So um, let's go down here. What have we got? So I was, I was thinking that might unlock the um, the door, but it actually opened up an elevator. <laughs> so we don't know if Barry's dead or not. Where the magic happens? Okay, so something we've found something it seems. This is where the lab is, it looks like. Going deeper and deeper into like the testing facilities where they're experimenting on humans. This doesn't look good. There's a typewriter down here, there's some ink. Let's get the ink, let's put it in the box. You know what, while we're here, we may as well save because we're right in front of the typewriter, aren't we? We just made progress. So I just um, saved and it said when, the, when I saved it, where I am, is the lab entrance. So we are definitely in a lab. Let's go inside and see what we've got. Let's see if there's any more super monsters inside that have been experimented on. See, do you know this kerosene that you see on the floor all the time? I have no idea what that's used for. <laughs> right, there's a zombie there. This guy's got a lab coat on, so this is the scientist, it seems. He's been mutated. Um, we'll try and run around this guy. Didn't work. That was a fail. Super fail. We've got plenty of knives anyway. Let's just keep on running. There's a zombie here. Um, let's open the map a second and see. Okay, there's a door to our left we can go through, but it looks like it's locked. So we're going to go downstairs first. See what's downstairs. I mean, the reason why I'm not killing these zombies as well is in case they do come back as the super zombies, which I can't bother. bothered. Dealing with, although we have got a magnum, you know it's very damaging. <laughs> it one shots the the um, the green mutant enemies. Look at the map. What door? We got a door to our side here. Let's check this out. First aid box on the floor there. Um, where's it? Open it. Get the get what's inside it. Because we've got quite a few inventory slots up in there. We've, we've also got two healing items already in the inventory. So there's a mix of two herbs. A heals for quite a bit of health. It's not a full health heal, but depending how much damage you've taken, it can be good, you know. So we've got that ahead of us there. Seems to be locked. If we, if we look at it, what is it? Levers for releasing the door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks on the levers. Okay. So the locks are locked. <laughs> okay, that's locked as well. So we got not, mu mu not, not much to do here. That's locked as well. So we need to get those levers unlocked. I think there was a door to the side. What do we have here? X-ray. Go on. 
There's a switch on the wall there as well. Can we press it? Okay, so everything has gone like the red colour. A memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrolled on the notepad too. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. The initials. What does that mean? Can we put the um, these on the wall? So we can put them on the wall. I'll put the initials in alphabetical order. So Alex B. It's like A B. That's the initials. Part of it is glowing red. And this is G H. And what exchange the positions of the X-ray photo? They're in alphabetical order from left to right. There, E F. So A B. And what's the um? Can we look at the far left one? Doesn't look like we can, but they are in alphabetical order, as I to me. I wonder why it's telling me that part of it is red. I don't know what that means. Um, researcher's letter. By the time you read this, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I'm suspected. I'm not as suspected. It came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason, just thinking about my in the impending doom. I would give give anything not to have to become one of them. So it's just some scientist talking about how he's infected and he's going to die. John Ada. So it's showing me now that they're all parts of them are glowing red. Now if I look at this... Hmm... I think what you need to do is, right... The parts that are glowing red, whatever that part is, so the the middle section right there, if we look on the this photo now, that is E, esophagus. Okay, so that now look look at the next bit. That is is that the liver? That's the liver, so E L, yep. That's that's in order. Now if you look at the far right one. Lungs. Yeah, so it's the lungs. So that's still in that particular order. Esophagus, liver, lungs. I becomes becomes before you. So that should be in order. We can't look at the far left photo, can we? Hang on, what is that? Is that a part that we haven't seen? Colon. Which 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 photograph is that? All right, that should be in order now. Colon, esophagus, lung, liver. Lungs. That is alphabetic order for the organs. Okay, so it says to use the, that unlocks the electronic door. Now, it doesn't it doesn't mention the electronic switches, so maybe another door somewhere else is unlocked. Maybe this one. Now that's locked. What about this one? That's locked. If you can just get those levers out to work, yep. The levers don't work. So let's head back actually and um, see what else we've got. Now, if we just don't put the map quickly, I just want to be able to tell where we're going because there's a zombie right in front of me. Um, let's come down this way. There's a zombie there as well. Oh, no way did he get me. Nothing we can pick up around here. There's a dagger. Okay, so there's a door here. It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area. Okay. So when we put the power on, they should work. What about this door? Okay, we haven't been through this door yet. What do we have? We've got revolver rounds on the ground. That's really good. <laughs> Maybe we should start shooting these zombies then. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. It's not very nice. What's this thing on the desk? 
Um, React, researchers note. It's just stuff about what's going on down here. Let me read it. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. Mm -hmm. So the host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. So it becomes a zombie. <laughs> Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call it, call its kind, Crimson Heads. The dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decide to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. I think that's the one that was in the coffin that we brought down, maybe? There's a computer here. Okay, log in. No idea. We have got a, a CD though that we can use in the chest. Maybe we can, once we've logged in, we can um, put the CD in. Umbrella computer, OS Ropples, copyright Umbrella Corp. Alright guys, I've just been running around quite a bit, trying to figure out, trying to find where the password might be. And um, if we look at the computer previously, in the other room where the photographs were, whenever you look at the computer, it says John Ada. So we're going to try that for the um, John as the login. It's a weird login, you think he'd have like a, a full name or something, so enter. Ada was only three letters. ADA. ADA. Looks like it's working. Verified. So basement door lock operation. Select floor. Um, permission denied. Try enter password. Shit. Um, I don't know. So escape. What about the other door? i to log in again. So let's try the other one, B3F. That seems to be accessing. That's unlocked. Where is that? So we can't, we don't know the password to do 2F, so we're gonna quit. Maybe we've been the combat disc here as well. Maybe that way we'll have something on it. Um. So let's look at the map. Was it B3 that we unlocked? I think it's one of these doors then, down here. It was, wasn't it? So let's go out the door. Let's um, try some of the doors, see if we've unlocked the door. Alright, where... What doors were locked? I'm trying to figure out. I think I think... Actually, yeah, you can see on the map there, the grey one is the one that we've unlocked. So let's head this way. Um, let's just shoot the zombie. He's in the way. <laughs> We've got plenty of ammo as well at the moment, so that's no worry. Let's reload the gun quick. As the gun. I think, oh shit, I'm using Barry's gun. It seems like he uses different bullets. Uh, maybe I should get my other gun then from the chest when we go back. I think Barry's guns are a lot more powerful than mine as well. Alright, so something's moving around in here. There's an ink ribbon, may as well pick that up. What's moving around? It's like disgusting noises. Slide filter. Okay. And I'm not gonna pick them up just now because there might be something else we need to pick up. Hello! <laughs> That guy's face. Um, what's in here? There seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it. Yes. Warning: fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Fuck. Um, okay. It looks like a refueling device. So we can't shake or jar it. I have to shoot this guy, won't I? He's within a tight room. If I go close, oh god! I wanted to get close and shoot him in the head by aiming up. Right, his head's gone. 
It seems, oh, shit, if you take the head off and you kill them, you can get the dagger back. So I didn't actually lose a dagger then. Facts. Okay, to sanitation division. Attention, manager of sanitation from, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The consent of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After sending, after reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. It hasn't been. <laughs> we expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially uh, estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been affected by the T-virus and died. It also being reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus. Second concern, um... So about security has been eradicated. And, okay, there's not much really that we need to know. It's just talking about how shit hit the fan. They expect more casualties, however, yet unfortunate. These casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. So it's just covering themselves. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state, police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measure against them first. So they're trying to like take out the stars because um, we know stuff, you know. Security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit passcode to the system we do have one it's in the in the chest so if we make our way back to a chest we can come back here um okay i'm gonna head back to the chest and then we'll maybe pick this up because we're heading back there anyway get the mo disc bring it back here see what's on it unlock some stuff all that stuff you know all right there's not much else that's everything else is locked down here for the moment all right, let's see what the, let's see what's on the map. The door around here was locked, I think. Hang on, what's this? Oh shit, it's another disc. Um, let's heal then. We take the MO disc. Okay, so we'll have two of these now. It's locked electronically. Where's your head, bitch? They dropped anything? No. <laughs> Put your hands up. Alright, let's aim up at his head and get his head off. Oh, we missed his head. Okay. Doesn't matter. We're going to actually switch this revolver back for um, R1 anyway, because we've got barriers at the moment. And the bullets that we've got on the inventory don't seem to match Barry's gun. Alright guys, that's all we've got time for for this part. In the next one, we'll um, take those, those discs down to that computer and see what's on them, because we should have two of them now. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!